So are you taking care of your ticker? Well, a new report from the Centers for Disease Control shows that more than 43% of American adults have a heart age of five years or more than their actual age. And of course, higher heart age could mean an increased risk of heart attacks and stroke. What does this really mean? Dr. Anna Ratcliffe joins us. She's an anesthesiologist in a private practice. This really scares me because you think you're, you know, X age and your heart is actually older then you are. Explain that, please. Well, this is an important study because, first of all, heart disease is the number one killer of American men and women across all age groups and across all um, ethnicities. So what, what's important about this is this study shows that half of American men between the ages of 30 and 74 have a heart age that's eight years older, and half of all women have a heart age that's six years older. So the, the good news is that there's a number of things we can do to decrease it. In fact, 75% of all cases of heart disease can either be prevented or postponed by knowing your heart age and taking um, um, taking uh, measures to decrease it. So how do you know your heart age? Well, this is what's interesting. So there's a Framingham calculator that you can do. You can Google it, and this is a call to action. Anyone watching should go online and do this. You enter your gender, you enter your age, you enter if you have diabetes and your systolic blood pressure, as well as if you're a smoker and if you're getting treated for high blood pressure. And what it'll do is it'll come up with a number. And the reason this is important is this is a new way to express heart disease risk. Whereas, for example, if I say, hey, Mr. Sean, if you decrease your blood pressure, now you have a relative risk reduction of 28 percent it means something very different than I say you can decrease your heart age by six years oh, it's a lot more relatable yeah. to our patients so you can actually what through exercise obviously and, mm -hmm. and not having uh, high blood pressure and, and other things roll it back right a and bit? yeah and what's a this? lot a lot a lot by quitting smoking for just uh -huh. one year, you can decrease your heart age by 16 years. This wow. is important, 14 years. This is important because there's some simple common sense things that we can do. And by doing a big study like this, we're impressing upon patients that you can really make, take an, you can make a difference in the way you live your life. So things like taking aspirin. So the Centers for Disease Control mm -hmm. have come up with the ABCs. Aspirin, you discuss with your yep. doctor, it can decrease the um, clot formation you, by controlling your blood pressure. This can also also make a significant yeah, impact. Yeah, that baby aspirin once a day. Mm -hmm. Talk it, to your doctor. Yeah, yeah? absolutely. What's the B and the C? Yes, A, B, C, and then um, smoking cessation as well as mm -hmm. cholesterol management. And we also want to choose what we eat wisely. The choices you make will affect how your heart um, functions. So you, you, to find out your heart age, you can actually, you said you can Google something. What do, yeah. what do I go to? The Framingham Heart okay. Study Calculator. Okay. And you said systolic? Yes. Blood pressure? And that's the top number of your the two blood pressure okay. readings. It's like the 120 if you're 120 exactly. over 80 or whatever it is? Exactly. Well, this is really fascinating. Yeah, this it scares really me. Is. What yeah. about your brain? Is your brain younger or older? My brain's still 16 years old. Well, it depends. Everybody's a little bit different. And, and, how, and can you affect other organs in your body? I mean, with your brain, for example. Right. Can you do things like... To, to, to live longer well, a lot besides of things, your heart? Yeah, a lot of things that we do for our heart health is also similar for our brain health. Mm -hmm. You know, exercising, eating healthy, using your brain. Those are all good things that we need to do. There's all around good effects for okay. that. Well, Dr. Nina, yeah. thank you for explaining thank you this. Very we'll much. go and Google that and see how old we really are.